in our next example, it's a lot like the previous example, except we have added in a small wrinkle, which is that the summation index of the outer for loop is going to appear inside of our while loop. So let's crack to it. The cost of the stuff inside of the while loop is constant. Let's create an iteration table. So we have iteration. And the loop variable for the while loop, which is j. So what does j start at? j starts at 1. And then we multiply by 2 every time. So after one iteration, we have 2. After two iterations, we have 4. After I'm going to change things up from our typical approach. I'm going to use just the different letters to get us more used to it. After, let's say, gamma iterations, we have two to the gamma. There is nothing sacred about the letter we choose to use there, so I'm just gonna use gamma here to get us used to some more different symbology. When does this stop? Well, it stops when my pattern that I've noticed, which this time is two to the gamma, is equal to the stopping condition of the while loop, which is i. Solve that for gamma. Gamma is equal to log base 2 of i. That means all of that code there, lines 4 through 8, runs in log base 2 of i. Sorry, c, log base 2 of i. So to express the total runtime, t of n, that is equal to the summation from i equals 1 to n of c log base 2 of i. And this time, unfortunately, we do not have a nice formula for that summation. So we're going to have to bound it above and below. So let's bound it above. To bound it above, we take each term of the summation and replace it with the largest term. In this case, that's going to be c log base 2 of n. After having done that, we have a fixed thing, c log base 2 of n, that we're adding every fixed number of times, n times. So this is equal to n copies of c log base 2 of n. Those two lines together are enough to tell me that we are in big O of n log of n. Now let us bound this below. I'm going to do that in purple here. Begin by splitting the summation in half. The sum from i equals 1 to n over 2 of c log base 2 of i plus the sum from i equals n over 2 plus 1 to n of c log base 2 of i. We then ditch the smaller of those two summations. Log is an increasing function. So the second of the two summations, this summation over here, is the larger of the two. So we're going to get rid of the first summation. So this is greater than or equal to the sum from i equals n over 2 plus 1 to n of c log base 2 of while getting rid of the first summation there, we are also going to replace the terms of the second summation with something that is smaller and convenient. So I'm going to replace them with n over 2. That doesn't matter a whole lot. You could have chosen n over 2 plus 1, but I choose n over 2 because it makes my life easier. So now we have a fixed thing. We're adding up a fixed number of times. So this is equal to n minus n over 2 plus 1 plus 1 that will evaluate to n over 2 times c times log base 2 of n over 2. Just for completeness' sake, let's see what this simplifies to. This equals n over 2 times c log base 2 of n minus c log base 2 of 2. 
if we want to show this from the definition and get this exactly to a constant times n log n, which is what we might suspect is going to happen here, we need to do a bit of work, which is a bit tedious, but I'll show it once just so we can remember that this is how we would do it. What you can do is replace that second term with something that looks like log base 2 of n. So log base 2 of 2, we can make smaller by making it 1 half c log base 2 of n. That number becomes arbitrarily small, so we definitely make it smaller by doing that. We could then collect together the like terms and get n over 4 times c times log base 2 of n. Where does n over 4 come from, you might ask? Well, we have c log base 2 of n minus half of that, so we get half log base 2 of n. So all of this stuff down here, all the purple stuff, claims that it is in big omega of n log n. And if we scroll up, it was also in big O of that. So I guess off to the side here so we can finish it up on this sheet of paper. We'll say our conclusion. T of n is in theta of n log n. This example was noticeably messier because of the fact that we had to do the while loop type stuff and also had to analyze the summation. This can easily compound into problems that can start to take 10 to 15 minutes per problem, and that's totally fine.